So welcome to this tutorial. Um, now that you would have completed uh, the modules for MATLAB's on-ramp course, which deals with importing data and visualization of data using using the plot commands and the associated uh, parameters with it, uh, this tutorial is um, is meant to help you in completing some of the other tasks. Um, so here we're just going to try to use up uh, all of the things that you would have learned in the in the on-ramp course and perhaps extend it uh, to do some analysis uh, for, 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 for COVID-19 data uh, that's available for, for, for Pakistan. Um, so uh, what I'm gonna do here is, so I am on MATLAB online, I've already signed in, um, and this is the set of files or the folders available on my MATLAB drive. Uh, let me just create a new folder um, which will uh, include this the file or the the live editor the live script associated with the story so let me create a folder and let me call this ee uh, 100 uh, lab 2 tutorial right and so here's the folder that i created let me double click this so i go inside and here what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to i'm going to upload uh, the csv file uh, which uh, which provides all of the confirmed cases uh, as a function as as, as uh, along the date different dates uh, for for many many countries across the world. Um, so um, so that's here in my Dropbox folder. So here's it's a confirmed daily, right? So this is a file that I have uploaded on my MATLAB drive, um, and I am going to. Uh, import it now okay um, so in order to import this all I'll do is I'll just double click this um, and okay. right so when I double click this it actually opens up the CSV file uh, just as uh, you would open it up in, in, in Microsoft Excel this is exactly the table the same table that you're gonna see uh, in, in Excel as well so what this data is, uh, like we explained in the handout as well, is the number of confirmed cases um, across the world, starting from January 22nd, uh, all the way up to uh, all the up, all the way up to August 15th, uh, 2020. Um, and the rows actually correspond to the dates, and the columns are different countries uh, that they reported for. Uh, and and there, there's a column here in for for Pakistan as well. Um, so it, these are all arranged alphabetically. So. What I'm going to do is I'm so this is this is a column that you see uh, for Pakistan. Um, I'm going to import this uh, this entire CSV file as um, as a table, and for that um, I will just click here. And what this does is it automatically selects all of the data available in the CSV file, and just I just click import uh, selection. And after that, you what you will see here in your workspace. Uh, down up here is the is is a table uh, title confirmed underscore daily which is actually the same uh, title as uh, the CSV file as well uh, which is a 207 across 81 uh, table uh, so this has 207 rows so these, these are the total number of days on which the cases were reported and this is 87 columns so approximately um, so this is this is the number of uh, number of countries for which the data was reported um, and so I say approximately because there's one column which corresponds to the date and similarly 207 so this might be smaller because there are some columns uh, some rows which correspond to the uh, name uh, names of the of the countries as well so we're now going to deal with this data um, and try to visualize it um, so in order to do that, I will create a new live script. You could create a script as well as an offline script. Uh, but let me just create a live script here. So it's a new live script. Um, and what the window just shows here, this is the CSV file that I, uh, that I imported. This is live script and this pane is going to show me uh, the output uh, corresponding to the live script. So let me close this so that I have a, um, so, so so let me close this window. Um, so let me close this. It's going to ask me. OK, now I am ready to uh, do the tutorial tasks. Uh, what are the tutorial tasks? Uh, I am going to put up the task here. 
uh, by adding up a text section here. So remember, this is a text section, so this is not the code. So you can add a description to what you're doing uh, using the text uh, option. Uh, and when you want to switch back to the code, you can just press here. So I have written up the text. Let me just copy it from the other window. Um, and so the practice task one is this, right? So the practice task one is for you to input the data from the CSV file, which we've already done. And then we wish to extract the number of confirmed cases, the daily cases for Pakistan, uh, starting all the way from April 1st, uh, 2020 till August 15th, 2020. And then once we've done that, we want to visualize what the number of cases were uh, using the uh, stem commands with, with the number of cases on the y-axis and the dates uh, on the, on the uh, on the x-axis. So in order for me to do that, let me just go into the code board and whatever I write now is going to be is, is going to be MATLAB code now. Um, and one of the things I could do is, so I let me just enter CLC first. What that does is going to clear the screen. I let me also uh, press close all. So that means if there's any figure that's open, um, close all is going to uh, close all of the figures once this script is run. Um, and then I wish to wish to extract the data, right? So as as a table um, uh, for Pakistan. So if I just say a variable, so data underscore all is equal to confirmed underscore daily dot, and this will allow me to access. Uh, the columns confirmed underscore daily dot Pakistan. So this is what you would have learned in the MATLAB on ramp uh, course as well. So because confirmed daily underscore daily is a table dot Pakistan would allow me to access the column corresponding uh, to the uh, the column which has Pakistan at the top. Uh, so this will extract all of the data for available for Pakistan in terms of number of confirmed daily cases uh, from the dates stipulated, which was uh, August uh, 5th, uh, January 22nd, all the way up to um, August 15th, 2020, right? And similarly, uh, let me extract the dates as well. So dates underscore all is going to be confirmed. And if I just see the one of the things I'm going to show you, if I press tab here, is going to automatically complete whatever variables it has. So this is an, this is an auto correction or auto suggestion, if you will, and that will allow you to maybe work uh, quickly as well. So confirm dot daily, and I am going to, let me just open up the confirm daily case here, uh, the CSV for your ready reference. So you see, hold on. Okay, so the first column is variable name one, which is actually the dates that I'm interested in, right? So even though it does not really say dates, it, I think it should have said dates, uh, but the first column which has a title equal to variable var name one corresponds to the date column. So I can access this date column by just typing the variable name and I just press tab and it will automatically complete uh, and give me that suggestion, right? So now if I, uh, let me run this section. Uh, so let me save this first. Okay. So this is EE100 tutorial 2.mlx. So that's because this is the live script. Um, and if I run, oops, yeah. So if I run this code now, right? So just I, I press run, and you'll see that you have a new variable called data, a new variable called dates, right? And if I just click on, for example, data, it's going to be a list of numbers. So it's going to be a list of numbers uh, with the index starting from one all the way up to uh, the index ending at 207. Okay. Uh, so let me close this and let me close this as well. So I don't know. And if I press dates underscore all, right? So this is going to give me whatever is inside the, the variable dates underscore all. And this is the, the, the first row which corresponds to January 22nd, 2020. So recall, remember this is in the US format uh, because the data is from the John Hopkins University. So the US format is month first, 
then dates, and then the year. Um, and the task statement that you're given is you need to extract that data uh, from April 1st, 2020, all the way up to August 15, 2020. However, in this data all and its dates all, this data actually corresponds to data from January 22nd all the way up to August 15, 2020. In order to extract the data for the relevant dates, let me just browse um, this, uh, this variable uh, called dates underscore all, and I see April 1st is, is over here. Right? So the 71st row or the 71st element of this vector uh, corresponds to the date that I'm looking for. And I want that extract that data from the 71st element all the way up to end. Right? So what I can do then is I just say dates equals dates underscore all um, from 71, the index number 71, all the way up to the end. Right? And this is going to extract the relevant dates for me. At the same time, I need to extract the relevant data as well. So this is going to be data, sorry. So this is going to be data equals data underscore all uh, from 71 all the way up to end. So now what I have is, um, so let me run this for you, for you to see. Um, and let me remove the semicolon so you will be able to see in the live script as well. So you see, so this is what corresponds to here. So this is dates which are being printed. Um, the first element in this vector is April 1st, 2020, and it just displays eight of these. The end is going to be August 15, 2020. Um, and similarly, data actually corresponds to the number of cases. So in, on April 1st, for instance, in Pakistan, the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases which were reported were 303 according to this database. Uh, then similarly for April 2nd, there was 265, for April 3rd, this was 132 and so on and so forth. And this can, continues all the way up to their 137 entries, one for each day, all the way up to August 15th, 2020. The next thing we wanna do is we want to um, plot this data. So this is what you need to do. You have the data, you have the, that extracted already. Now you need to visualize it. Now you need to visualize it. Um, so in order to visualize this, uh, I can, let me first of all use a plot command, uh, which is perhaps something more familiar for you. Um, and then I have dates on the X axis and I have uh, data on the, on the Y axis. And let me just press F5 and press, pressing F5 uh, runs this or it does not, okay pressing F5 and so let me close this for a bit of view. So close, right? So this is what you observe. So this is this is this plot. When I, when I plot, this is the plot that you get. On the x-axis, you have the dates. Uh, each one of these points actually corresponds to, correspond to a date. And this is the total number of cases uh, that were reported on a particular day. Um, but what I want to do is instead of this getting a continuous curve, I want to have a sort of a stem plot uh, which displays each one of the points on individual day separately and not as a continuous uh, plot that this particular thing shows. And, and, and for that, I will use uh, the, the stem command and let me just type figure. So figure what this does is um, it opens up a new window, a new figure window, and then this is stem dates and data, right? And then for better visualization, let me use um, the red color. And for the marker, uh, let me use a dot marker, okay? And you, you're open to use any marker that you wish. Uh, for me, dot is much more uh, visually pleasing because it's small. Um, and if I press this now, I press F5, uh, and what you will see is this, is the data that's um, that's number of confirmed cases on the y-axis versus the number of um, the dates on the x-axis. Uh, I can so the, the the practice task statement also says that label the x's appropriately. I can label them using the x label command. So x label I can say dates. Right. So that's we're going to provide a label to the x-axis and 
while label can be confirmed cases and I can also provide a title to the to the plot and this would be um, the number of confirmed cases in Pakistan right and let me press F5 again all right so this is the plot that you get and let me press this so this is all going to open it up in a separate window so i can maximize it if i if i wish um and this is the window that i get let me see if i can ex so i can quickly for a better visualization just show you um so you if you were to show this to a decision maker right this is the simplest thing that you can uh, you can show them in terms of the number of cases um, so I can now play around with this as well if you wish. Um, so you see uh, this is going to be a data market here. Uh, right, you see? So this is, I, so I don't press anything, I just press uh, one of these points here. So this particular point represents that X is 06,15, so this is June, on June 15th. The number of reported confirmed cases in Pakistan were 4,443 um, and so on and so forth. The peak actually was somewhere around here, which is June 19, which was just after Eid. Uh, this is where we got the peak. Uh, there's another peak here as well, um, which is 7th, uh, July, uh, 5th July 2020. And, and thankfully, Alhamdulillah, you see a decreasing trend after that, which has continued into September as well. Um, so you see the number of confirmed cases here was 747 on August 15, uh, 2020. So this is just the first practice task. You can do a lot more with this as, as we're going to try to do in the, uh, in the other recordings as well, uh, and the other practice tasks as well.